One of the areas in the front of the knee that can cause pain and is related to pain in other areas is the infrapatellar fat pad. It's been called the airbag of the knee, but not everyone's airbag is the same. Um, this May 2022 study looked at 25 Japanese cadavers. They found there were three different types of fat pads. One of them looked like this with medial and lateral extension around the patella. One of them looked like this with just medial extension around the patella. And the last one looked like this with no extension around the patella. This is probably what you would expect the fat pad to look like based off of other photos online where they just show it right under the patella. So you have three different types of, of fat pads. They took these three groups and they compared them to articular cartilage degeneration on the backside of the patella. So they were asking the question, uh, is a person's fat pad type related to damage on the backside? Could it possibly be protective or related in some other way? So they found that uh, type one had a negative correlation with, degener with the degenerative grade of articular cartilage. <clears throat> this potentially means that having a fat pad that extends around the patella uh, is more protective to the patella's cartilage. Maybe. And uh, this type, the type 1, also had the most volume. It, w it was the biggest fat pad. Uh, so maybe a bigger fat pad is better. Maybe. Again, maybe. Maybe not. Uh, they found that type 3, the one where there is no extension around the patella, had the most grade 3 lesions, which were uh, the worst lesions. So maybe having a fat pad like that um, is the least protective. Again, maybe. Uh, so you kind of look, is the fat pad, can you do anything about this? Probably not. It's probably genetic. So what is the practical takeaway from this study? Uh, I don't really know. I just uh, think this is interesting, and that's why I made this video.